What's going on today, guys? This is Tony from Team Divine Pro here. <coughs> Sorry, right there. A little sick, guys. Um, so, yeah, today I'm here bringing you some news, some pretty big big news for both the Waste world and the um, Card Fed Banger world. So, as you can see, based upon this image that I have been, I have obtained, well, I have seen on the recent pages and everything, uh, there have been leaks on the new SAO cards for red, so at least it has been confirmed, out, unless if this is a big prank, but I'm pretty sure it's official because it was on a Wish Wars official page, that um, there will be red inside the extra booster, which is pretty awesome. So anyways, uh, here we can see some new Celica cards. This apparently is not a actual SAO card though, but it will be maybe a promo with 8k base or something. So anyways, let's get on to the cards. I'm pretty sure you can all tell that there are some new cards in here so there is for one the new gate so you will be having four you will have a total of eight gates at your disposal although it is a possibility that it's not the best to run more than four gates because I think that there's better cards out there and maybe the 2k one with this con climax combo or the Ozuna with tornado invite to party which would be pretty good as well so apart from that there are that and then there's this new 3k2, which is ability will be right here. So power 9,500, 9, soul 2, trigger 1, cost 2, trait avatar and weapon, which it seems that there ha uh, uh, Silica didn't have weapon last time. But anyways, let's get into the thing. Continuous for each character having trait avatar, weapon, or dragon. This card gets plus 500, uh, which is pretty makes it pretty awesome. When this card, and then auto... Uh, ditch one when this card uh pay one when this card enters the stage from your hand or by effect of change yeah that's right guys you get a change finally the change which is awesome you may pay the cost if you do so deal one damage to your opponent player so a little misreading there but it's pretty decent actually it doesn't heal which means that you might want to run it with a change and then you might want to still run the healers but that's pretty awesome so now you move on, you have the level 2 right here, which I believe is the changer, cost 1, power 7,500, sold 1, trigger 1, trade avatar and weapon. When this card enters the stage from your hand, look at the top card of your deck, return that card to the top of your deck, or put it at the bottom of the waiting room. So that's pretty decent, it lets you like mill through and cycle through the deck so that you know exactly what's there, and if you want to trigger it, kind of like the Hare Guilty Ground type of combo thing. And it lets you set up for brainstorms and everything. So now, Autitude, uh, pay two. When this card attacks, if your climax zone has uh, this, I believe it might be the new one. Um, pretty sure it's the new one. You may pay the cost if you do deal so deal one damage to your opponent player, then put a card from the top from your opponent's waiting room to his or her top of the deck, which is actually pretty good. So it's kind of like putting the two effects of this and that together, which is pretty awesome. And it might be useful. Uh, now, Climax Trigger. It would be this is called comeback. I guess it's from the scenes of right after she's the plant, so it's like pretty much these two scenes together. Um, level one, and now the next one is the level one right here. So it's the dog-eared one that you'd see in the posters, and it'd be level one, cost one, power seven thousand five hundred, soul trig, soul one, trigger zero, trade avatar weapon, auto one. This card enters the stage from hand. Look at the top card of your deck. If it is not a character having either avatar weapon or dragon, put this into the waiting room at the beginning of your encore step. So there is a drawback, but the f the thing is that I seeing as the entire deck could be revolved around the entire deck could is easily able to revolve around either avatar weapon or or dragon. It shouldn't be an issue to have to play this card and make it more of a plus that you'd have this card. So I would definitely probably try to run this, and if not, I'd probably try to run this. I do not know where the change is though. I'm kind of interested. I think it might be coming up. Either that or it's somehow this card, but I don't think I missed anything, did I? No, I didn't. So I think that the change card hasn't been released yet or something. So now moving on, there's a level zero right here. Level zero, low, uh, cost zero, power 2,500, soul one, trigger zero, trait avatar weapon, auto put and pay one, put a card from your hand to the waiting room. When this card enters the stage from your hand, you may pay the cost if you do look so. If you do so, look at your deck for at most one character with avatar, show it to your opponent, and add it to your hand. Shuffle the deck afterwards. So this is pretty much a replacement for the Kirito searcher. Well, so it says... Uh, Another a pseudo searcher, which is most likely going to replace Kirito when this comes out, because of the fact that red is a lot more versatile and more prevalent in a competitive deck, and that's pretty awesome knowing that you will be having more of a red ratio and not have to worry about getting those blue cards. So I would definitely run this card if it does come out like that. So anyways, guys, moving on to other news, if I can get out of the page. I don't know. Let me see. Yep, I can. So let me just get to the images. Uh... Yeah, so Cardfight Vanguard news. 
you will be seeing Cardfight Vanguard have VG EB12, Wallets of the Goddess. So in other news, I guess that would probably mean that you guys are realizing that in the Japanese format, they're going to get for Misaka, they will be getting an extra booster. And it seems to me, I believe personally that this is most likely going to be something, it looks like Neonectar because of the organic style of everything, but I really think that maybe it could be Genesis and it could, I think it will be Genesis because it seems that she stuck with it in the first few episodes and there's like this like little design like holographic type of thing that you see in the perfect guard. So I think that she'll be sticking with Genesis and it's kind of neat how she, this one, I just noticed this, how this one has like the gloves that she used to wear. So I think we'll see either Neo Nectar or Genesis, most likely Genesis, but I want to hope for Neo Nectar because it kind of, I like Neo Nectar as a deck and a clan. And it looks like she's wearing green, I, although that is one of her favorite colors that, that they put for her. I do get that, you know, green's pretty cool and organic seems pretty nice. And there's tulips and everything. Now, you guys might be wondering, if this is VG EB12, where's EB11? Well, guys, EB11 happens to be an awesome new thing. And it involves Ren. So uh, it's called Requiem at Dusk VG EB11. So it's Shadow Paladins and most likely for these two... These two sets you'll be seeing Legion, or as they saw, say in Japanese, Legion. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this is pretty hype. hype. So uh, at first I was going to go into Royal Paladins, but now since I see this, I am most likely going to stay with the Shadows and just, well, not stay in the Shadows, but stay with the Shadow Paladins and play this. Although the one disappointment is I feel that this is most likely going to be what the Legion art looks like, and I really don't like the Blaster Dark art or... Or the sh the phantom blaster dragon it looks like art which is a really big downside because when you look at like like what like this this is pretty nice i i can live with that but like i don't know just it doesn't look right like guys like honestly like leave your comments down in the description box below about anything but like really give me your opinion do you like the art of the legion the supposedly legion about this and anyways guys um i think that will probably be it though uh this was a short little segment i just wanted to leak you guys out this information that i found out this morning and i got around to doing it today so i hope that i put this up the day i get it out anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please comment rate subscribe like do all those good things for me and uh the contest is still on because scruffy uh check out that contest video it's it'll be in my uh channel somewhere and uh check out that contest because we are Although I have hit the number I need for subscribers, we still are waiting for Scruffy, so he needs around eight more guys, and that'd be awesome. So please uh, subscribe to me and him, and for more information like this and more Carfight Vanguard and waste stuff. Anyways, guys, this has been Tony from Team Divine Pro, signing off.